Alright everyone, hope you're all doing great today. We are back with five new farms that you can build pretty much in the first few days of your Minecraft world. Now that 1.19 is out, I figured that this would be a really good time to revamp this video. So I'm just going to quit the waffling and let's get into building our first farm. Okay, so I'm not going to do them in the exact order that I've shown right here. Because one of the most important things when you just started your Minecraft world is, well yeah, food. And cooked beef is one of the best foods in the entire game. So that's why right here we got the humble cow crusher. So we just get the wheat from that chest, come up here and start breathing the cows. And now once they make babies, entity cramming happens and the drops will go into this chest. It is stupidly simple and that makes it one of the most OP farms you can have. So the materials you need to build this are in this chest right here. As you can see, it's really not that much. It's a hopper, a chest, a stair of your choice, eight blocks, a fence, a water bucket and at least two cows. So let's break open the chest and start our build. So first dig out two blocks like so, place a chest and a hopper leading into the back of the chest. Now you can place a temporary block here and place an upside down stair against the edge of that temporary block. Now build up around the temporary block like so and add one more block just to the right of the chest. Now break the temporary block, place water there instead and if you're in survival you'll have to lure in the cows by yourself so holding some wheat you can just lure them inside the farm. Also it might help if you retrieve the water bucket because that actually stops this cow from jumping around and that'll make it so much easier to get the second cow in. And there we go. Now the most important thing is to replace the water bucket that we took out and replace the solid block there as well. Now using temporary block you need to place a fence over this thing. So I'm just going to spam right click until the fence places. There we go. And the farm is complete. It is literally that simple. All you need to do now is every once in a while, just breed up the cows. And once there are 24 cows in here, you'll start entity cramming every time you breed the cows. And it will give you food and perhaps even more importantly, leather, which you can use to make an enchanting set. Coming back over here, we can see that we got quite a bit of food. And the only reasonable way to cook it is by using this contraption right here. Okay, maybe you could have cooked it in other ways, but you get the point. All you need to do is load up the top chest with whatever you want to cook. So in my case, that's the raw beef from the cow crusher. Load up the back chest with your fuel and the fences will start smelting away. The leaves are here because this is in fact an XP farm. And whenever you want to get XP from this, you just flick the levers. This will lock the hoppers. Okay, that will allow you to pick up the contents of the furnace. And once you've smelted loads of items in this setup, you'll probably have enough levels to go from 0 to 30 in a matter of seconds. So that makes this extremely overpowered in the early game when you're just looking to get some quick enchants but you don't have the levels. Plus, it makes smelting your resources much, much quicker. Now, building this contraption is extremely simple as well. And here are the materials. It really isn't that much and we can get to building it straight away. So place a double chest like so. Now going into the back of the chest, place two hoppers, two furnaces on top of the hoppers, two levers, two hoppers going into the back of the furnace, so crouch and place hoppers like so. Two going into the top of the furnace and a double chest on the back and a double chest on the front. And that is your auto smelter complete. As you saw there, I just had a quick stack of coal available. But what if you don't have coal available? So that's why this next farm solves all your fuel issues by giving you infinite lava. Yeah, it's it's crazy. And you can see that this is extremely simple as well. And the great thing is it approximately fills up at the rate at which a cow crusher produces raw beef. So it's really convenient. Now this may look like a lot of lava buckets, but if you don't have this many to hand, you can just set up one of these cells with just one dripstone and eventually you'll get enough lava to cover the entire farm. Building this is again, yeah, I sound like a broken record. This is extremely simple to build as well. Place 16 cauldrons in a square, so a 4x4 square of cauldrons. Now using some temporary blocks, one block above the cauldrons, place some solid blocks. I recommend using cobblestone for this because it's not flammable or you could just use any other type of stone. It's totally your choice. Now on the bottom of these solid blocks, place your dripstone. A pillar up and make a ring of temporary blocks on top of the cobblestone just like so and you can place trapdoors on the edge now the great thing about trapdoors is that they don't burn in the lava so you can use some wooden trapdoors and the farm will be unaffected now remove these temporary blocks flip open the trapdoors on all sides make sure you get out before placing in your 16 lava buckets there we go, we got a lovely pool of lava up here that is slowly trickling down into these cauldrons. And whenever you're running low on fuel, all you have to do is just pick a lava bucket out 
using some buckets, chuck them in your auto smelter and you'll be on your merry way. And now we're going to go back to the start of our list. And now we've got food, we've got a way of smelting the food, and now we also got a beautiful, beautiful, renewable lava farm. What else do you need? Well, you're probably going to need a house. And one of the most common materials for a house is, yeah, cobblestone that we used back there. That's why this is a really simple, really compact cobblestone generator that produces an insane amount of cobblestone per hour. Plus, I'll show you how to AFK this thing as well. I'll just give you a quick demonstration right now. All you have to do is hold down left click and you can harvest cobblestone if you don't have silk touch on your pick or if you want to harvest smooth stone you need to enchant your pick with silk touch and that will give you smooth stone the materials that you need are in this chest right here really not that much and the five lava buckets right here you can probably get them from your infinite lava farm as well so take a note of these and we'll break the chest and start our build so dig a little two by two hole in the floor place a double chest like so now add five hoppers going into the chest now this next part is going to create a bit of a mess, but it will be worth it. Place 5 temporary blocks and build it up around the sides. Now place temporary blocks above these hoppers and make sure all the water in here is water sources, just like so. Now get some stairs and place 2 at either end facing inwards and 3 just like so. Now you can remove the rest of these temporary blocks. Place a slab here and five more solid blocks like so. One solid block at the back and build the entire thing up by one block. Now remove these temporary blocks so that the water flows over the hoppers. Now place lava sources above the water and this should create a row of smooth stone which you can just mine like so. Of course if you don't have any efficiency on your pickaxe this will be quite painful and quite slow but as soon as I enchant this with efficiency 5 you can see that the process is a whole lot quicker. But even then we're not getting the fifth block at the back. That's because you need haste and efficiency 5 on a diamond pickaxe to reach the last block. But once you at least have haste 2 you can insta mine all the stone blocks as they generate and as you can see this is incredibly quick now the way to afk at this farm is to hold down left click press f3 and t and this will reload the textures now release left click and i am currently not holding my mouse at all and it's automatically harvesting the blocks for me now to stop this just click normally and the auto clicker should stop now in this chest you can see that we actually got quite a bit of cobblestone in quite a short amount of time so that's four out of the five farms complete and now we move on to what i think is the simplest one of them all an automatic cactus farm and as an extra bonus smelting cactus gives you quite a bit of xp so this can actually be hooked up to an auto smelter and be used as an xp farm and now here are the materials you need for this again not that much so take note of these and we'll just build this farm right here so first dig out a 5x5 five five area and i'll make it three blocks deep in total Now add 4 sand blocks and plant your cactus on top of the sand. Now using temporary blocks above the cactus, place 2 iron bars or 2 fences, whatever one works for you. And now at the edge of the farm, dig out 4 blocks like so. Jump down, place a chest, dig out this block and place a hopper. And now on the opposite corner, place a water bucket. And that is your automatic cactus farm complete. I told you it was incredibly simple. In fact, all of these farms have been incredibly simple. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.